Hi, this is John from ThemeBrain. Today we'd like to introduce a great new Drupal module called TB Mega Menu. TB Mega Menu allows you to create a mega menu with an innovative back-end user interface synchronized with the Drupal core menu. So here is our front page and it's using a Drupal core menu system. And as you can see, it has only drop-down menu styles here. Now check the menu when you use TB Mega Menu. With TB Mega Menu, your menus can be displayed in columns. Plus, you can display not only menu items, but images, slideshows, videos, articles, and customize them any way you want, any style and animation. And all of this can be configured with just one click. There are three main sections of this video tutorial. First, we'll learn how to install the module, and then how to build up the Mega Menu, add some style and animation, and responsive navigation. All right, let's get started with the module installation. First, go to the project page of TB Mega Menu on Drupal.org and get the download link. This is the project page of the module. What we need to do now is copy the link address, then back to the admin page, go to module, and click install new module. And just paste the download link address into the TB Mega Menu right here. And click on Install. All right, great. The module has installed successfully. Then we go back to the module page, and there it is. You'll see the TB Mega Menu module right here. TB Mega Menu requires you to install and enable modules Chosen and Font Awesome. And so let's go ahead and install those two modules. To install these two missing modules, we're going to do exactly the same thing we did by installing the Mega Menu module. Access the two URLs to get the download links for those two modules. And then after you install those two modules, you need to add libraries of the two modules to your site library folder. First, let's download the jQuery of the chosen folder. Okay, and select zip to download the module. There it goes. And now we're going to download the Font Awesome module. Click the download button. We're going to extract the two files that we've just downloaded into folders. And then open the two folders one by one. The chosen module, we're going to copy the folder chosen right here and copying it to sites all and libraries we're going to do the same for the module font awesome now so we copy the folder and stick it as there in the module page check the tb mega menu and then save configuration all right, click on continue, and this will enable the two new installed modules. Great, all of our modules, as you can see, are installed and enabled, and now we just need to set the main menu to the nav bar. To do this, access the blocks, scroll down till you find TB Mega Menu Main Menu, and then set it to Menu Bar. Move back to the top. And now set the main menu and nav bar to none. And save the settings. With our setup now complete, let's move to the next part. How to build up your mega menu. First, go to the structure page and click on TB Mega Menu Settings. There we go. This is a list of the menus in your site. And we want to select the main menus config. And here is the configuration panel of Mega Menu. And let's explore the settings we've got here. Select any menu here to configure. We're going to want our submenus to be displayed in a group, so let's enable that option. There we go. Now we need to set the width size of the submenu block, and let's try 750 pixels. Can also set the alignment of the submenu block. We have left, right, center, 
and Justify. To add more columns, just select the column here and then click on the plus button and let's add two more columns. Now here's where the real magic starts to happen. For each of these newly created columns, we can add content by simply assigning a block to the column. If you're like most people, you have a ton of blocks and one easy way to sort through them all is to type in a keyword to filter those blocks. Now we can style these columns by entering a class in the extra class box. And save the settings. Go back to the front page and check our work. It works perfectly. We have three columns, one with menu items and the other two with content blocks, our video and the latest articles of our site. Now, if you have menu items, we're going to show you how you can organize them with Mega Menu. First, let's make the submenu block a little wider. 850 pixels is probably enough. First, let's set the alignment for the submenu. And then we have three submenu items here. So we're going to move each submenu item to a column. And all we need to do is just select the menu item and then select to move it to the right or to the left column. How about that? Now, enable the group option for the three submenus. Now enable the group option for the three submenus. And now let's change the width of each of these columns here. You see you got a lot of white space to the right. Select the column and then set the grid for it. You see we have three columns, so we can have a grid of sizes four, 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 or we can have two size threes and one size six. Just make sure the grid of all the columns equals 12. We have nine submenu items, so let's display them into three columns with three menu items each. Isn't that cool? But wait, there's more. We can even add a new row under the submenu block. For the row, its content will be from an assigned block. And let us select the block called TB Mega Menu. There we go. And we save our settings. And let's jump back out to the front and see what it looks like. We reload the uh, page to see the latest changes. And there you have it. All of our menus are now well organized with Mega Menu. Now, TB Mega Menu allows you to add some icons to specific menu items, and it's very easy to do. Here's how. First, you select a menu item, and then you add a class for the menu item, and it appears. You can add also a caption to any of the menu items. Just, again, select the menu item and simply add a caption for it. Here is home page. Now, in this tutorial, we're not going to show you how it looks on the front page. Is the styling of this template uh, doesn't allow for captions, but we did want to show you that it's available to you. Now, TB Mega Menu integrates Twitter Bootstrap, so you can use the class for the Bootstrap icons and simply drop them into your Mega Menu. Let me show you. So you just copy this, copy the icon class, come back over to uh, About Us, and then just drop it right into the icon field, and there you have it. Click Save, back out to the front, reload the page. And with Mega Menu, we now have menu items with icons. Now let's move to the next part of our tutorial, how to set the style and add animation for the Mega Menu. Here is our Mega Menu toolbox, and we select the styles, and we have four to choose from. Black is the one we will choose right now, and then animation drop down. You see we have all sorts of animation styles available to us, from fading, and sliding, zooming and elastic. We're going to choose fading for this tutorial. And let's choose the duration. When the animation is active, you can set the delay and duration for the selected animation. And the higher the value, the slower the animation. For instance, this is set in milliseconds. 1,000 milliseconds equals one second. Well, let's make it 300 and change the duration to 500. And we'll save that, 500 being a half a second. And go back out to the front and see how this looks now. Reload the front page. Look at that. 
Wow. As you can see, that Mega Menu style has now changed to black, and we have a fading animation when we hover over it. Beautiful. All sorts of style and animation combinations you can uh, set up, and you can check those uh, on your own. We're going to demo that right now to save time for another feature that we want to talk about next, which is responsive navigation. TB Mega Menu is fully responsive. That means your menu is built with a module that fits all devices, desktop, mobile, and tablets. You can hide specific menu items and columns in a collapsed menu on mobile and tablet devices. And here's how Mega Menu looks when you enable and disable columns in that collapsed menu. When you enable this option, all submenus will be shown when you activate the navigation icon in the collapsed menu. If you disable this option, then the submenus are only shown when you activate its parent menu. Let's save this and show you how it works. As you can see, submenus only show up when you activate its parent menu, saving precious real estate in your mobile and tablet template. And that's the end of our tutorial for today. Have fun with TB Mega Menu. And for more information, access our site at themebrain.com. Thanks for watching.